Hi Aquarius, welcome to your love connection reading for the first half of August. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. So thank you so much for stopping by and watching. And if you're new, welcome, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for stopping by again. If you are new, please do check the description box below. Any and all information you need is there about personal readings, um, links, all kind of information. Tons of information is down there. So please, please do go check that out. Would be greatly appreciated. So this reading is for any kind of love connection, any person that you have in mind in any kind of situation. So we'll see what we get here and hopefully this resonates for you. And before we get started, just a quick shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank you so much. Those who have reached out for personal readings, thank you, thank you. And those who have blessed me with an exchange of energy as in a um, tip or donation to the channel is very, very much appreciated. So thank you, thank you so much. I couldn't do it without you guys and I truly love to do this. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so for Aquarius, first half of July, love connection reading. I hope everybody's doing well. Can we? Be, can you believe we're in August? Where is time going? I don't know. All right, so this deck here, this is a Zodiac Oracle. So we could get a sign, element, or planet. And if you do not resonate with whatever comes out here, that's totally fine. The rest of the reading may be for you, so I would suggest to keep watching. And also by the title, I mean, you would know by the title sometimes too, if it may or may not resonate, but then you never know. All right, so let's see what kind of energy could be around you the first half of August for some Aquarian people. Okay, can we have one card, Spirit? All the decks are also listed below. They all have been pre-shuffle cut meditated on off camera to save a little bit of time, but there's more shuffling on camera just a little bit. So please have patience with that. All right. So Aquarius, what kind of energy spirit, please? Could be around some Aquarians at the beginning of August. This love connection reading spirit, please. Just one card for Aquarius spirit, please. Thank you. Pluto. Pluto energy, which whoops, which is Scorpio. So some of you could be dealing with the Scorpio. If not, that is okay. And the Pluto energy is about, it's about basically all the human instincts. It's about life, birth, rebirth, death, um, sex, power, and control, and that sort of thing. So it's all the basic instincts of life in general. So I don't know, we'll see here. And then we have 22, which is four, and four is all about stability. So we will see how that plays in. So life, death, rebirth, birth, sex, power and control. Hmm, I don't know, we'll see how that plays in to your reading. And if that's not resonating for you, then maybe you're just dealing with the Scorpio if you're not dealing with a Scorpio, um, you could have it maybe Scorpio in your chart, or they do. All right, so let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on for Aquarius. Wow, and I just noticed too, you have, wow, you're 11 in this deck, which is two, and then Pluto is 22. So we have two, 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 three twos here. And twos are all about, you know, coming together. Unity. So I'm trying to get this thing here too. Two is all about unity and coming together. So I don't know, we'll see if you add that all up. That is six, two, four, six. And that is all about uh, balance and uh healing and peace and harmony. All right, so let's get an overall love energy for you, Aquarius. First half of July, spirit please. One, wow, card for Aquarius. There we go, Grove. Number 21, Grove, which 21 is three, and three is also about teamwork, collaboration, cooperation, working together, coming together and working things out. 
in Grove. Okay, let me see number 21. I just want to read a little bit about what Grove is. Um, now is the time to apologize to anyone you have harmed. Make your friendships whole again and choose healing over anger and pain. Choosing the beautiful grove is a powerful sign that you are a wondrous and strong you are at a wondrous and strong time in your life. Show compassion and kindness to others. No one is perfect. Yet, imperfection is perfect as it is. If you are hurting, know that it will pass and that I watch over you. If someone you love is hurting, take this time to be there for this person. The sacred grove heals all aches and pains, especially a heart that has been wounded. Okay, so, and I did say with um, all these numbers adding to six is about healing and balance, peace, harmony. So isn't this card? Wow. And then all these twos is about unity. Three is about coming together, teamwork, collaboration, working together, working and building something together. Wow. Okay, so I don't know. If something happened here, uh, something needs healing within your connection. I don't know. We'll see what's going on. And it could be that maybe just the numbers on these cards needed to come out. And that's why Pluto came out is because the two here could just be a divine and source's way of telling you that um, unity is important between the two of you with these three twos here. And there's also a two on this card. Right, so Aquarius, what's going on with Aquarius? Wow. So what I want to do now is I want to pull one card for your energy towards your person and in this connection, what is your energy like? What is Aquarius' energy like towards this love connection, towards their person, towards this love connection in general? Spirit, please, can we have one card for Aquarius? The moon. Okay, so in five, 50, five, five is about change. So the moon here speaks of, you know, maybe illusions or not seeing things clearly, secrets coming to light, uh, feeling like maybe you don't know all the facts. Oh, so you feel like there's some things in this relationship that you just don't know. There's some things that maybe are being kept from you. Let me just see the moon energy. About 50. Why did I say 30? Okay. I think that's the last card in the deck. It is. It's the last card in the deck. Look beyond the obvious to know the truth of things. Sometimes people will say one thing and you have a weird feeling that they mean something else altogether. You have this power. You are being asked to use it now. Choose another card for a deeper look at what's really going on behind the scenes. Okay, choose another card. All right, so what else do we need to know? So it's also with the moon energy here is about having um, high intuition, gut feelings and knowing and being divinely connected to source. And it's telling you to trust in any kind of um, inkling, instincts, um, intuition, got feelings so do we need another card for Aquarius with the moon all right so what do you need to trust in this connection what do you need to trust in this connection your gut feeling your intuition what is it telling you and what do you need to trust in this connection all right so we have wishing 19 and 19 is 10 and 10 is about endings and then comes one a brand new beginning so you see like two people here, looks like two people, I think. It's hard to tell, maybe not, I don't know. But anyway, yeah, this is having, you know, hope, faith, optimism, wishing and hoping. So let's see what this one um, has to say. Wishing, your prayers are heard. Um, 
this is like the divine talking now telling you my dear one I hear your prayers I know your heart and I know what is for your highest good dreams do come true make sure your dream serves your highest purpose and does not take away from another be careful what you wish for remember the coins tossed in a wishing well for every wish there is a price to be paid are you ready to spend the time and energy that your granted wish will require now is the time your wish will be fulfilled so maybe you're doubting this connection like you're wishing and you're hoping for this connection and with power and control I'm thinking in this energy of like looking upward is you know you have that energy and power from the moon and that intuitive energy and from source as with the moon here so it's telling you to trust your intuition you know if you're wishing and hoping for this connection it's like you intuitively know that you two will come together things will heal um again healing energy here so i don't know if if something happened and you're hoping for things to heal and coming back together for a reconciliation or if you're waiting for your person to heal and then you want to come into union but whatever you're wishing for and hoping for and whatever your gut feeling is telling you about you and this connection the universe is telling you that your dreams will come true and all will be healed there will be unity there will be uh, teamwork collaboration there'll be peace harmony and balance there'll be a, a new beginning there'll be change so let's just see um, how your person is feeling what's going on with them how are they feeling about you in this connection letting go okay so and I don't sense that they're letting go of you I think they're letting go of karmic things they're going through right now um, attachments you see 22 there Wow <laughs> Wow double 22 Wow okay so with power and control with Pluto uh, your person could be a Scorpio if not and Scorpio is the energy of the um, death card and that is about things ending you know letting go of things and letting them end and then having a new beginning having a transformational period having a rebirth regrowth and with the butterflies here just transforming out of that whole situation 22 again for stability letting go of things no longer serving them so they can regain their own power and control and regain their stability wow okay so that's all making sense now Yep, I definitely feel like here they're letting go of things no longer serving them. Taking back control power of their life so they can regain their personal growth and stability and their foundation. And probably is going to require healing on their part going through this. Wow. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, complicated. And now we have 11 here so you could be wow all right I didn't want to say it but now that we have 11 11 here and we have 22 22 which is four 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 is the twin flame number you know 11 11 and now we have 11 11 complicated and as with any twin flame journey it's very very complicated here and yep so very complicated situation right now for them for you, you're probably kind of maybe left in the dock right now about how they truly feel about you, what's going on with them, um, and you just don't know, but you're trying to trust in what you truly feel about this connection and what they're going through, and you're wishing and hoping for their healing, their happiness, that they have the courage and strength and power to take control back, take control back of their life and transform and let go out of this and then also heal but things I feel right now are very complicated between you and your person wow all right and I also feel here with the wishing and then five is if you're wishing and hoping for this change for the future for the two of you because you want them to go through their endings and transformations so that you know one nine ten endings and then one brand new beginning wow all right so we have 
two, 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 two. So we have one, two, three, four twos. Then over here we have two more twos, and then there's a two. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay, Aquarius. Let's get more clarity. All right, what's going on with Aquarius? Why are they in this energy? Death. Wow, exactly. Scorpio, and I just said death. Wow. <laughs> I can't make this up. So, yeah, you have this Scorpio person, maybe if they are Scorpio, heavily on your heart and in your mind. You know they're your soulmate, your person. You're waiting for them to end their situations here. So there can be a death, a rebirth, a transformation period here. Wow. Because this is clarifying how you are feeling and how your person, how you're feeling towards this person. You're waiting for things to transform this whole connection relationship to transform for them to let go heal and transform so that they can come into union with you and if you add one and three there 13 is four again four 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 wow all right so how let's clarify what's going on with your person letting go what are they letting go of the mother okay this is the empress so in this is um divine feminine energy so they definitely could be letting go of you know the empress energy is someone who is a mother so maybe they you know were married and had a family and you know had was the mother of their children now they're letting that go but that i think they're also seeing you as this empress as their divine divine feminine wow somebody who's very caring giving nurturing uh, a lot of growth um, she embodies all the queens mother of the deck honesty truth and clarity passion love compassion um, stability growth wow and that is Libra and Taurus but it doesn't have to be so let's see what the actual situation is now for you Aquarius so what well, we have the Queen of Swords and I saw this in the pre-shuffle so here's your energy Libra Gemini Aquarius the Queen of Swords the nine of Pentacles earth energy and the Queen of Wands Wow fire energy here see I had just said the Empress is every Queen in the deck and we have two Queens come out now so here you are standing up in your truth your clarity this is you know your heads enlightened so in the moon energy there the light there I feel like you're very intuitive like I had said connected to source you know truths you speak with truth and clarity you're not afraid to cut out things no longer serving you um, you stand up for yourself you don't take any BS kind of energy and it's like you're holding up the sword of truth there and that's connecting to you it's like you know you know but you just have to wait for them and connecting to them is the Queen of Wands so they are very passionate about you I mean look look what the chair looks like there anyway um, <laughs> they see they have a lot of passion and desire towards you um, definitely here they see you as somebody that is very <clears throat> courageous and brave and assertive and a go-getter goes after what they want very passionate kind of energy wow and then connecting the two of you is the nine of shields the nine of pentacles so this is a single energy an independent energy uh, a stable secure abundant kind of energy you can take care of yourself you have no worries you know you're kind of happy living life on your own there's no need to worry you can uh, self-sufficient totally take care of yourself so the energy between the two of you is you both need to be in this energy so they need to let go of what they need to let go of release it transform heal and mend from that be in this single independent secure stable energy as you are before this can come together Wow. So let's see what your advice is, Aquarius, in this situation. 
So we have the Seven of Shields, the Seven of Pentacles, and we have the Knight of Shields. Wow. All Earth energy. Your advice, waiting. Waiting for this person, building very, very slowly, making very small, slow, stable, secure baby steps with this person. Um, no rushing with the Pentacle energy is a very slow slow moving energy as you see this knight he's like not even moving here and the seven of pentacles is about waiting pentacles are very stable secure energy so yep to keep this in a very stable secure energy is to just have patience with them needing to wait for them taking it very very slow baby baby steps to secure this firm, stable foundation so you can build and grow and prosper because the pentacles are all about growth and prosperity and wealth and abundance long term. Here's the offer here. So I mean when maybe you will go be coming forward with an offer to them once you kind of know they've let go, they've healed, they're ready and maybe they may be hesitant about coming forward. So you know you may you may decide to make a small, tiny gesture offer in the future. I don't think anytime soon because this is going very slow and waiting. So waiting, waiting, and s slow, steady, secure baby steps with this person. So let's see what the possible outcome could be. Let me put the camera down. What is the possible outcome? We have 14, which is temperance, Sagittarius energy. So things equaling out, balancing out, uh, healing. So, and you have the rainbow here going from here to here. So, yep, there will be healing. There will be equal give and take. There will be balance. Patience is needed. So having that patience, healing energy here, balancing energy here uh, between the two of you. Wow. All right, so let's get more clarity what's going on here. Well, you Aquarius, so we have nine of cups. So wish fulfillment, water energy, happiness, joy, and wish fulfillment. Ace of cups, there you go. Brand new beginning in love, divinely guided soulmate energy, even twin flame. I felt that. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if the four of wands come out all the lovers or something like that but here's the ace of cups divinely guided true love love and emotions overflowing brand new beginning and love brand new start for the two of you wow the sun <laughs> leo energy wow there's that success victory happiness and joy total happiness joy and fulfillment there's the growth enlightenment expansion wow everything everything positive with the sun wow the sun and and the sun can also repre represent twin flames also with the ace of cups and the nine of cups with wish fulfillment wow let's get another one the four of cauldrons yep so four of cups and here's the energy of waiting for this person like not when you know not knowing when to reach out with the offer or if they will reach out with the offer so it's a waiting game for now just a waiting game for now um in this connection all right so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck the star and there you are there you are Aquarius the star energy so nice so here's again healing and balancing enlightenment divinely guided union here wishes being granted wishes coming true having that faith hope and optimism in this connection Wow it's Aquarius energy No, oh, did I just say I wouldn't be surprised if we see the four of wands you are on a twin flame journey Aquarius Aquarius so fire energy commitment could be marriage in the future home having a home together sharing everything you know having a happy joyous connection here possible twin flame connection here with the four of wands as you see the 11, 11 with the four pillars and having that stability as with the number four. So we have four again. Wow. Ten of cups. Oh my God, Aquarius. 
Happy home and family, total fulfillment in every single way, happiness and joy. I, I just can't believe this. Ace of Cups, Nine of Cups, the Star, the Four of Wands, the Sun, and now the Ten of Cups. Temperance. Wow. Divinely guided soulmate twin flame energy here. And the Ten of Pentacles. Are you kidding me? There's this total, total stability coming together, sharing everything in a loving union, sharing every single bit of one another, your finances, your just everything, total abundance, happiness, and an abundant life for the two of you together as one. Wow. Stability. Never have to worry about your uh, wealth and your finances and having a very stable union here. Wow. So the five of pentacles now. So this is a uh, energy of feeling. And I think this is the energy we're in right now of feeling that lack and that abandonment and being left out in the cold, you know, as you're waiting for this person, um, not sure where it's going, where it's heading, having sometimes doubt here, having that stress and anxiety, uh, air energy here, that short energy, stress, anxiety, nervousness, um, can't sleep at night worrying about this connection but then you have the three of cups so they will be reuniting they will be rejoicing happiness um, coming back together with this person the tower Aries so yeah they're going through a tower moment right now yep things are crumbling down for them they're releasing and letting go and this is what they need to heal and transform out of also having maybe a tower moment realizing your even their twin flame, their soulmate. And there's the Ace of Swords. So, wow. And I had just said, maybe they just had this tower moment of them realizing that you're, you are their soulmate twin flame. And here's the sword of truth, the divine coming in with that sword, bringing in the truth and clarity of the situation, having that divine intervention, seeing things clearly. Big, big realization and epiphany here. And wanting to cut out the things no longer serving them. Wow. And standing up for themselves. Yep. So, yep. Reunion here. Rejoicing with your twin flame soulmate. Although right now there's stress, anxiety, and nervousness about being kind of left out in the cold about their situation, what's going on with them. But I do see a divinely guided soulmate twin flame union here once they release let go and heal transform and then are ready to come into union but it's going to be a very very slow hard work in progress so please keep that in mind and if you're willing to have patience and wait for this person you will have this divine love connection wow all right stability love passion Divine, divinely guided. All right, so let's get some guidance, some advice for you in this connection, Aquarius. We have one card for Aquarius. One advice for you, Aquarius. Guidance for Aquarius. forward movement 45 which is nine and nine again is the wish fulfillment also the stress anxiety uh being like that wounded worry have been through a hard struggle hard fight here and also being that nine of pentacle energy of being stable secure and independent but there will be forward movement once everything transforms with the butterflies again there will be this forward movement but the nine there is that single independent energy has to come in first before this foreign movement will take place. All right, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Negativity. And we have eight, and eight is about, um, one and seven is eight. Eight is about action and movement, travel, negativity. So I really feel like they're maybe in, maybe sometimes you get in a negative uh, headspace about this connection and this person that doubt and fear 
can be the nine of swords energy also and i also feel like they're removing eight is also energy of like travel action movement walking away walking away from all this negative negativity that is no longer serving them what is this so yep yeah. needing to let go of any negative energy because the more you are in negative energy if you are true twin flame soulmates they will feel that energetically and they will pull back and withdraw from your energy so if you can release that negative energy and be in a more calmful peaceful loving place and send them healing energy as we have all this healing here sending them strength and healing and unconditional love energy to have that power and strength and courage and control and power to do what they need to do and transform that energy will help them and will help this union okay Aquarius wow Aquarius twin flame soulmate journey here for you I see it all over the place very complicated if this didn't resonate for you you could check um, the scripture box below for past readings and maybe something there will resonate for you more and um, wishing you good luck here in your journey and if you do like how I read please do like share subscribe comment hit the bell you'll be notified when I post new readings I do bi-weekly general and love so please do not miss out on that subscribe please please and um, sending you much light love and blessings here and as I always always say with my channel as with the Sun energy here is to always always shine your light <laughs>